Everyone has heard of photosynthesis, the process that is used by plants to convert light energy into chemical energy. But did you know that there are three types of photosynthesis? There are many different species of plants throughout the world which have adapted to their ecosystems. Some have adapted to warm, dry climates, while others have adapted to cooler climates. The differences in climates and ecosystems have resulted in three different types of photosynthesis. The three types of photosynthesis include C3, C4, and CAM photosynthesis. Let's go ahead and take a look at these processes. Around 85% of plants complete C3 photosynthesis. Examples of these plants include rice, wheat, soybeans, oats, and all trees. C3 photosynthesis occurs in the mesophyll cells under the surface of leaves and other tissues. It begins by taking carbon dioxide to the Calvin cycle. This is where initial fixation of carbon occurs when the enzyme Rubisco adds carbon dioxide to RUBP. The first organic compound produced from this interaction is the 3-carbon compound 3-PGA and is where the name C3 comes from. In normal C3 photosynthesis conditions, the stomata are open, thus allowing carbon dioxide to move in and oxygen to move out. However, if it is too dry or hot, the stomata will close off to preserve water, causing an excess amount of oxygen to form. When the stomata are closed, it limits the amount of C3 that can be made. Because of this, C3 is not well adapted to arid environments. Since C3 photosynthesis is not efficient in arid climates, plants in hot and dry areas independently evolved other methods to convert carbon dioxide into more useful compounds. This created C4 photosynthesis, which occurs in about 3% of terrestrial plants, many of which are used in agriculture, such as corn, sugarcane, and sorghum. C4 plants photosynthesize at a higher rate and lose less water than C3 plants. C4 plants also avoid photorespiration, and they do this by going through the Calvin cycle in the bundle sheath cell. Let's look at how C4 plants go through the Calvin cycle. Like C3 plants, initial carbon fixation occurs in the mesophyll cells. However, in C4 plants, PEP carboxylase binds carbon dioxide and bicarbonate to form a 4-carbon organic acid, OAA. The 4-carbon acid then forms malate, which cycles into the bundle sheath cell and releases pyruvate, a 3-carbon acid, and carbon dioxide. The pyruvate cycles back into the mesophyll cell and using ATP forms PEP carboxylase and the cycle starts again. Carbon dioxide goes through the Calvin cycle, producing carbohydrates. The bundle sheath cell allows carbon dioxide to concentrate near rubisco, where it does not have to interact with oxygen, removing the need for photorespiration. In addition, the efficiency of the C4 pathway allows C4 plants to close their stomata more often, which leads to less water loss compared to C3 plants. The main problem with C4 photosynthesis is the large amount of energy required for carbon fixation compared to C3 photosynthesis. The CAM pathway is an evolutionary adaptation of plants in hot, arid climates. Examples of CAM plants include pineapples and agave tequila. CAM plants make up 6% of flowering plants. They have an inverted stomatal pattern. Their stomata are open in the evening and early morning, allowing the pet carboxylase to be active, but they are closed during daylight hours when organic acids are stored in their vacuoles. While the stomata are open, carbon dioxide can enter the intracellular spaces of the leaves and then travel into the mesophyll cells. After the stomata close, the organic acids can exit the vacuoles, decarboxylate, and release CO2. The pet carboxylase is then deactivated, allowing the Calvin cycle and rubisco to begin. Camp photosynthesis is flexible in that some species have cycling and idling states. The facultative photosynthetic process can be reversed, stopped midway, or brought to fruition. CAM plants have a higher variation in species and are thought to have evolved due primarily to drought and conditions causing low carbon dioxide abundance. CAM plants have diverse levels of carbon binding abilities and are better equipped to hold water and use it efficiently. CAM plants are shown to have a 44% higher water conservation than other plant types, thus allowing for succulents and drought tolerance. However, their water loss resistance does not increase photosynthetic productivity.